Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today for this look, I decided to throw on one of my wigs. For those of you who have followed me for a while probably know that I used to wear wigs all the time, especially when I first started my YouTube channel. Almost every video I had a wig on and I really enjoy wearing them. I'm definitely not an expert by any means um, when it comes to wigs, but I do love wearing them and you know, it makes me feel good to change up my look sometimes. So I decided to do that with this look. I went super smoky and full on glam, but I also incorporated a very wearable nude lip that I just love wearing. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like this video. If you guys wanna know how to get this look, then please keep watching. To prep the skin, I'm gonna be going in with my Revlon Photo Ready Primer and I'm buffing this in with a Real Techniques brush. What I really love about this primer is how mattifying it is, as well as how easily it diminishes my pores and also prolongs my foundation. Going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which is my current favorite at the moment, I'm just going to be applying this all around my face and blending out with a Real Technique sponge. This foundation is about a medium coverage and I feel it blends out beautifully. I also really, really love the applicator that it has. To conceal, I'm going to be going in using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is a new product by Tarte that I'm so obsessed with. It's a full coverage concealer and it's also matte, so you don't have to set it with a powder if you don't want to, but for me, I always like to set my concealers no matter what. I like to blend this out with a Real Techniques Damp Beauty Sponge. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using a translucent powder and I'm just slightly tapping this in to prevent any creasing that may occur throughout the day. This is a super matte powder so you don't need much of this. To set my whole face, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay foundation powder and just dusting this all around with a big brush. This is going to ensure my foundation stays matte and lasts all day long. So next I'm going to be filling in my brows with my IT Cosmetics Build a Brow Pomade in dark brown. And I'm just feathering in this color and brushing it out with a spoolie, working from the tail end of my brow to the front of my brow. I like to flick my brush upwards towards the front and then clean up any mistakes I might have made with a concealer and here I'm just using the Tarte concealer I used before underneath my eyes. To set them, I'm going to be using this clear brow gel by CoverGirl. So to prime the lid today, I'm going to be using this MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just going to lightly apply this to my lids and this is going to diminish any discoloration, any redness, and this also is going to prolong the eyeshadows that I'm going to be wearing today as well. For the first step in this eye look, I'm going to be taking the shade Natural Beauty from the original Tartlet palette and blending this into my crease with a Sigma E40 brush. This shade will act as our transition and it's such a beautiful mauvey purple tone. It looks really nice as a transition when you're going for a more cool toned eye look like I am today. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Best Friend, which is a brighter purple, and I'm going to add this into my outer V and crease with a smaller blending brush. I just kept layering in this color till I achieved that depth that I was looking for. To highlight, I'm going to be taking the shade Super Mom, which is a nice, cool-toned matte white, and I'm just placing this onto the brow bone to give my eyes a nice brow lift. To deepen up the entire look, I'm going to take the shade Bombshell, which is the deepest purple, and I'm going to add this into the outer V and crease, really smoking this out and also adding it to the lower lash line to make it super smoky and very sultry. So next I'm going to first wet my brush and then taking the shade Metal by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to pack this onto the lid. This is such a beautiful shade used along with the Tartlet palette because it's super metallic and all the other shades I used before were matte, so we're just going to place this onto the lid for now to add some shine and also some dimension. I took a bit of the metal shade and placed this on the inner lower lash line to draw attention in and really open up my eyes. I also layered in the shade Nylon by MAC because this is a bit more intense and it's also my favorite inner corner highlight. I'm just packing this into the inner corner and bringing it up into my eye into a C shape. Next I'm going to add in a nude liner to my waterline and for that I'm using this one by Tarte and it's called the Inner Rim Liner. This is going to make my eyes appear bigger and much much larger than it would if I were using a black liner. So next I'm going to apply a few coats of Tarte Lash Paint to my lashes and moving on to the glitter, I'm going to be taking Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter and applying this down into the inner lower lash line. I'm not taking this in too far, I'm just concentrating it more so on the inner portion of my eye for more of a glitter highlighted look. For false lashes today, I'm going to be using my current faves, 
which are flutter lashes intoxicating and these are really long and they're also really full so they add a lot of drama just to about any look that you wear. I'm going to be anchoring these babies down with some lash glue and making sure they're secured onto my lash line. I also like to go in with some mascara afterward to blend my lashes with the false lashes. So for bronzer today, I'm going to be warming up my skin with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Matte Bronzer. And I'm applying this with a Morphe MB5, which I really love for bronzer because it does all the work for you and looks super flawless. I take this along my cheeks and also my forehead to all around warm up my entire complexion. I also like to take that same bronzer, which is a great contouring bronzer as well. I take it on a small blending brush and contour the sides of my nose to define and also slim it out. With my TARDIS contour kit, I'm going to be taking the lightest shade and going along my jawline with this to clean up our bronzer, and this makes everything look sharp and more neat. For blush today, I'm going to be picking up Rose Spritz and Amaretto from the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette, and I'm just bouncing this on the apples of my cheeks, and this gives a nice, sun-kissed, summery glow because one is matte and one is shimmer. For lips, I'm going to be lining them first with this lip pencil from Laura Mercier, and this one is called Chestnut. It's a really nice, warm nude, and this one I usually wear with a lot of my nude lipsticks. I always pair this one with a much lighter nude lipstick because it makes my lips look a lot bigger and also a lot fuller. Next, I'm going to take this lip gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's called Dainty, and this is such a beautiful pigmented gloss. This one's been my favorite lately because it's a nice summer peach color that looks good with any makeup look. I've worn this wearing a lot of makeup and then barely any makeup and I get so many compliments each time I wear it. I love it. It definitely screams summer. And just when you thought this look was over, I got ya. We cannot forget to highlight today. So first, I'm going to spray my entire face with MAC Fix Plus. You can use any setting spray and then I'm going to highlight with Becca Moonstone. So by us spraying our face first, this is really going to prolong our highlight as well as make it stand out and glow. You can also layer it without it looking like too much, so of course, I went for it and just kept layering until I was glowing for the gods. And lastly, don't forget to highlight the bridge of your nose and also the tip of your nose. And that is it for this look. I hope you beauties enjoyed this one. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.